Hello and good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, everybody. This is General Spear here. Welcome to a brand new series here on the channel featuring XCOM 2, The War of the Chosen. Here we have uh, something a little different than what I've played in the past, and that is of Mass Effect. As the title and thumbnail of this video can... Um, uh, shows off and everything. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing series. Um, this is going to be kind of one of my official kind of tag along series along with my other, uh, with Minecraft and everything. Um, as well as, you know, uh, you know, eventual other content on the channel. Um, I've said in the past on certain videos that I'm probably not going to, well, I wasn't going to feature XCOM 2 for a while because I got kind of burnt out on it. But then I thought, you know, I kind of, I guess, got burnt out on, you know, the clones doing that kind of stuff. And so I decided to do something a little different. It's shocking how I, I get burnt out on clone stuff. But we are here with... Um, the uh, the the War of the Chosen uh, uh, DLC, and uh, we might have a couple other things in here too. But we also have a bunch of mods that we have for Mass Effect content. The link is going to be in the description down below, or not the links, but the mods mod list itself is going to be in the link in the description below, or in the description below. God, words today. <laughs> I swear I've had a little caffeine. Um, I have put together a character pool, but we also will be featuring characters um, on the battlefield as they come in as well, which is going to be awesome. I already have ideas for when we get um, the Skirmisher and the uh, the Reaper as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get this series going, and we're going to go ahead and get started with a new game. Uh, for those of you who have not played or have not seen my XCOM diff stuff before, I usually play on Veteran. I rarely go, like, Commander or Legend just because of, um, <laughs> I want to get through the episodes as, you know, decently as possible. Veteran is a decent enough challenge for me to be able to do that. I think I've done, like, a Commander difficulty once, and it was difficult, but then, there, of course, there's a Legend, and then that's just crazy. Uh, we're not going to do the tutorial. We're going to reduce the beginner VO, uh, show subtitles, of course, game soundtrack. Um, I've got War of the Chosen on uh, already, but I also have the, uh, one of the mods is changing over to doing the Mass Effect soundtrack, which you can hear in the background. Which is, I, I got to say, even though this is the, the Mass Effect soundtrack, I just love. And, and for those who don't know... Mass Effect is something that I've kind of been new to over the last several years during the pandemic. I played the first one uh, when I had time in 2020. And, I mean, I, d I had played it a little bit before, but I wasn't able to really get into it because of college and everything. And I, I love this series. It's right up there with... Um with Star Wars, with Lord of the Rings, with Halo, I mean, I, I, I just love what the series has to offer, and I'm actually really excited for the next game title that is going to be coming out. Uh, still rumors back and forth of whether or not Shepard is actually going to be involved in that game in some capacity. I know Liara is one of the uh, the OG characters that we get to, you know, hang around with and everything, which is going to be awesome. Uh, don't know about any of the other characters. It's uncertain, of course, if Garrus is going to be, uh, involved. Um, Rex may be no longer kind of deal. Obviously, the, uh, the Salarians that we have dealt with in the past, they're, they're all gone. So, um, the only way I can see Shepard even coming back in that game is with the, um, the Lazarus Project, and even that's a little, you know, dubious at best. But who knows? I'm excited for it, and I'm excited for this playthrough. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, <coughs> start without Iron Man. Yes, we're going to do that. And do I enable... Yeah, Lost in the Bandit. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Integrated stuff. I don't know why I'm not able to uh, click the Shen's Last Gift or Alien Hunters, but... No worries for this playthrough. War of the Chosen is going to be fine. And then, of course, we have integrated content, etc., etc. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And let's begin. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were 
were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. I love how the music, the two different soundtracks are over one another. Clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by French elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Your turn. Your turn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. Good cutscene. Yeah, I show that every time so that people kind of get the general idea of the story, for, especially if they've not seen XCOM 2 at all or any of the other uh, content on my channel or just any stuff regarding the game. Um, to kind of give you the story and lead up, I apologize for the fact that the music seems to be overlapping the in-game content already. Uh, did not expect that. I thought it would actually pause for a moment. And we're here in the uh, the loading screen. Hopefully the game runs. Now that we've got a foothold, it's time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. Oh yeah! As you can see, we already got folks on, on board here. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right. There is one additional mod I'm gonna be adding to this game. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Okay. So there is one additional mod that I'm going to be adding to this game and to the list uh, after the stream or the, the recording and everything. But we, of course, have Miss uh, Liara Tassoni. We have Jeff Moreau, known as Joker. We have Jacqueline Knott, known as Jack. And then, of course, we have Miranda Lawson. Now, of course, we have other characters from the Mass Effect trilogy um, that will uh, eventually show up in game, but. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. We got a good crew so far, so we're gonna move Jack up to here. We don't have Shepard on the ground yet. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Right behind you. There's Miranda moving up. And we're gonna move her up to full cover here. Right, like so. Joker, we're gonna move him to here. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Well, of course, we will. We're gonna move him to half cover here. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. And Liara, we're gonna move her up. Good. Let's take a moment to regroup. And we're gonna have her go Overwatch? Sure. You bet. Let's take these monsters. Okay. So, Jeff... Not a great shot there. Is there anybody else? Minus one five. You're near the target position. Okay. So move Jack to here. And Jack, we're gonna put on Overwatch. So why the hell are we standing here? Um, Liara, we're gonna move I'm gonna hold off on using Miranda and um Liara for the moment. Joker, we're gonna go and open fire here on this one in the back. And this one's a better chance. Here we go. There we go. Ew. <laughs> I love that. Get him, Jack. Oh, miss. To miss. All right. This is why we uh, we do what we do here. Liara, we're gonna move a few over this way. Fifty-eight chance. Okay. We're gonna move Miranda over around here. 
There we go, there's a flank. Nicely done. Okay. And we are going to go ahead, I guess, open fire on this guy. Nothing else much doing. He's probably not going to move if I do an overwatch situation, so we'll go ahead and do this. Oh. Nicely done, uh, Liara. So now Jack just needs a promotion now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move up with Miranda. Come on. Okay. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make... I'm going to pull back with Miranda and I'm going to use Overwatch with the other three. It's not a guarantee. But it might work a little bit better. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. Um, let's see, where do I want to put Miranda? Not exactly a great spot for you, dear. Um, let's put you in full cover here. So that's at least something. Get him, Liara. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Now one more trooper here. Get him, Jeff. Oh, miss. Jack. There you go. Very good. All right. So, same kind of deal. Oh, I doubt we're going to do anything with that. You bet. Let's take these monsters. I learned how to survive and not be able to Nope. That didn't work. All right. Same deal. Get him. Ah. Attack didn't work. Come here. Okay, he didn't do Overwatch, so this is our chance. Joker, move in. Jack, move up. Miranda, move up to here. Jack, take first shot. Or Jeff. Joker. God, so many J's. And there's gonna be more of them. Oh, nice hit, Jack. Okay, one ability point for getting that. Miranda, take him out. Very nice. Yes. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Working on it. Oh, playing with Jeff is gonna be fun. Understood. It takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. Holding the line. All right. So first off, Liara, go pick up that loot. I can't believe it remained undetected for so long. All right. Now let's plant the charges. Get out of here. Good. Flawless mission. I love that. Take a picture. Randomize. And let's see. High poster details. Randomize once more. Ooh. 
I like that. I like that. Yeah. Take picture. Might crop it a little, but this may very well be the thumbnail. You never know. Alright, let's continue here. So obviously because we didn't do the tutorial, the, um... Basically, Gatecrasher, they help Central break out the Commander. For those that haven't seen the game, they break out the Commander, and they bring him to the, uh, XCOM headquarters, I guess, if you will. And, uh, they extract a chip that had been plant implanted in the commander's brain. So, and then, of course, they sort of the commander throughout the facilities, the research facility, the, uh, the engineering bay, the armory, etc., etc., um... And you're pretty much caught up from there as far as, like, missions go and everything. Yeah, only Central and, uh, the other gal, Kelly, I forget her first name, but only those two are meant to survive the tutorial phase of Operation Gatecrasher. And then, of course, those other two soldiers in the cinematic don't survive, but... Pfft, whatevers. Whatevers. Let's go to the base. Miranda definitely took a lot of hits. Or, not a hits, but, like, did did a lot of stuff in that one, as you can see by the stats. Or the mission stats. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Alright, now, if I've done things right... Hopefully things will use my class. Yes! Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. So, obviously, in the canon, Joker is not a fighter. Well, he has the training and capability, but... Because of his uh, ailment, I forget what it is, but there there is something that um, has to do with his brittle uh, with brittle bones and everything. Uh, so he is not um, necessarily fit for combat. However, if there was a role that he would have in this kind of game, it would definitely be more of a sharpshooter, kind of hanging back, picking the targets. It would totally make sense. Now, these three gals. Uh, Liara, Jack, and Miranda, they should all technically be a very specific... Well, Liara, uh, Liara, did I do... Let's do Jack first. Ah, yes, perfect. Now, so there's a mod. It's obviously in the mod list in the description below. I have made it such that Jack and a few other uh, characters are biotics. Um, there's Miranda here, which should be a biotic, yes. And then I can't remember if I did Liara as a biotic or if I had her as a specialist. Biotic, okay, good. So we have three biotics already. Um, and I've never played with the biotic class before, so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works. I'm very intrigued. I was reading up kind of the, the, the rough details and everything. Um... And so on and so forth. So we obviously got some stuff. We got a stock. We got a laser sight. We got a, PCI, a PCS chip, which helps with perception. We're going to stick that onto J uh, Joker, which I think will be very good. And then we got a couple of corpses as well. All right. Can we go in here real quick? We can. So we can Imagine review the soldiers. And obviously, as you can see, we have uh, we have quite a list so far. Uh, we have um, we of course have the four that we got out in the fields. We have Ashley Williams coming in. I've got to hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. All their advanced technology, they had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and the seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers, 
They're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement. Okay. So, obviously, as you can see, I, I brought in some of the other soldiers here. So, we have Ashley Williams, and then we have uh, James Vega. James is the only one that was a little weird because I couldn't find a proper face uh, thing. There is the squad mate pack for him, but I couldn't find a proper face uh, set up for him for whatever reason. I might play around with that later. We have Garrus. Welcome back, buddy. Love Garrus. We have Ernot Rex. David Anderson. Uh, basically Anderson as well. Combat Intelligence. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have a rare trait, buddy. Good. Um, so, what's interesting about um, David Anderson, he's, he's voiced, of course, if you don't know, by the legendary um, voice actor Keith David. The only voice pack I could find that was remotely appropriate for David Anderson was the Captain Foley voice pack from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I think it is. Um, who, Captain Foley, is also voiced by Keith David in that game. So, uh, we at least got some sort of militaristic presence um, in David Anderson. And, of course, it's the same voice actor. So, hopefully, it'll still have that immersive quality and everything. So, I'm pretty excited. Plus, gave him a little, some aviators, which is pretty awesome. Um, we then also have uh, Tally Zora, which is awesome. do 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 Caden Alenko, above average combat intelligence. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. We have Edie. We have John Shepard. I decided to go with uh, John Shepard in this case rather than Jane Shepard because I think John Shepard is the more. <sighs> I think John Shepard is the can the proper canon shepherd even though you can go either way in the game i at least i think that's the case i don't know feel free to correct me if i'm wrong i'm, I'm totally okay with that we have javik um i couldn't well i guess i could go ahead and put in like no last name or whatever uh hyphen confirm javik okay good and then we have tankborn also known as grunt um, awesome, awesome, awesome. So we already got a good crew out here on the battlefield as it is, which is awesome. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep this going. We're gonna go to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology. Commander, Dr. Richard Teigen, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I am not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Alright, so that gives you kind of a new brief into the research lab, for those who've, not, who've played XCOM 1 but have not played XCOM 2. And uh, this is kind of our first research options here. I like generally doing anything to do with armor first and then we'll uh, get into stuff experimental weapons though that could be something good but let's go ahead and do this i do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available we'll begin work immediately i'll send word when a complete report is available all right and let's go to engineering Under to engineering 
Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I like Lily. I like I like her her dad too. When I I will be honest when um when the DLC came out for Shen's last gift, I was hoping in some capacity that we would actually see her father. Um but beggars can't be choosers. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. I am going to go ahead and pick up a med kit. And only do that because we have some facilities to eventually do. Advanced technology, along with most of what we've seen going on in the city centers, is based on variations. And in some cases, improvements of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. There's well, room good. for us to explain. All right. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Well, good. Definitely good. Ah, we're in the USA. Oh, I like how we're in... Um... Oh, there we go. Engineers. Yeah, we definitely need those. I like how we have the music as if you were in the galaxy map for Mass Effect. That's pretty cool. I, I do like that. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Well, I definitely know we need the engineers. Contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning Jeez. capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, obviously. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead and do this. Hybrid materials done. Results have exceeded expectations. All right, we have new item, mantle scale vest, and then we have plated armor available to research. Awesome. Uh, which we cannot do right now. <laughs> Mainly because, A, it's going to take 30 days, but uh, more importantly, we don't have the alien alloys to be able to do it. So, let's go ahead and do modular weapons. Get that going. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Oh, I love how it switches the music. I love that. That's actually pretty darn cool. All right, got an engineer there. We can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. All right, 
Before I do that, I am actually going to go ahead and begin clearing Commander, out. So far, I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. I did check the reduce the beginner VO, didn't I? I thought I did. We have made yes. a number of new discoveries, Commander. All right, research available, magnetic weapons, upgrades available. Awesome. Uh, which I <laughs> I could do magnetic weapons right now. It is gonna take a long time. So I think we'll go ahead and go with, do I do alien biotech next or do I do experimental weapons? I think I do experimental weapons. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander, uh, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. All right, so we got our first guerrilla ops mission, uh, Operation Cryptic Shroud. Recover for, uh, item for Resistance Haven. Difficulty is easy. Our reward is Dr. Simone Bernard, um, who is an engineer. So we'll get two engineers on board, which is awesome. Uh, be nice to have another scientist, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and confirm. Setting Since it is our only guerrilla ops mission at the moment, United and this States. takes priority. All right, so, 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 so. We're gonna remove Jack and Miranda. We're gonna keep Le uh, Liara and Joker in here. And we're gonna bring in John Shepard. And, oh man, who do I bring in here? There's, there's, there's so many good possibilities here. So there's, there's James we could bring in, obviously. There's Ernot Rex. Do I do Garrus, a.k.a. Archangel? Yeah, buddy. Let's, let's do that. All right, so we also have, obviously, as you can see, Various weapons that we can use to our disposal. Shepard, I'm going to uh, equip the med kit. And I'm also going to do the Valkyrie. Yeah, the Valkyrie will work, I think. Or the Avenger. Let's do the M8. That's the classic one for, uh, for them. Liara, we're going to go ahead and do the... Is there something that isn't a shotgun, preferably? I mean, the shotguns can do a pretty good amount of damage. You just have to get in close is the problem. Let's go with the Crusader. And then Joker. Oh, we were going to do the, um, the PCI thing, weren't we? Uh, missed shots do more damage. That's probably not a bad idea to have on somebody. I don't know who we would have that on. But, uh, PCI... Would that be soldier abilities? No. Oh! We need the Gorilla Tactics School to do, to do that. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So, this is our team. We got Joker, Liara, uh, Shepard, and uh, Garrus. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. Long episode today. Let's do this. <laughs> Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Now, can we get two flawless missions out of this? I... I don't know. It could it could go sideways either way. So uh, let's do this. Oh, 
I also have no clue if I'm going to get copyrighted at all with the music. I hope I don't. I hope I don't. I wouldn't think I would, but... You never know. You never know. I'm enjoying this so far. I'm actually having a, a pretty immense amount of fun with this. Um, I, I gotta tell you, I hope I hope everybody is too. I mean, if you've been watching this far, I mean, hit hit one in the chat or in in your comments and everything. Um, next to, of course, the other comments and whatnot, because this this has been fun. This has been really fun. I hope because like XCOM is such a big thing on my channel. Like, I really hope people enjoy it. I really do. Recon indicates an advent data vault holding files critical to their latest operation was stolen by the resistance in this area. Unfortunately, the aliens were quick to reclaim the site, wiping out everyone they came across in the process. This is an opportunity to disrupt their project that we can't pass up, neutralize all hostile forces in the area, secure the site, and recover the assets. So if I remember correctly, this is a timed mission, which makes this is going to make this fun. Tunnels under Seattle. Okay. All right. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Oh. Liara's got some shields. Look at that. Okay, she's a tank. <laughs> and I imagine that those shields may potentially grow as she ranks up. Is my guess. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, you are. All right, we're going to go ahead and move up to here. Yeah, you're going to be our tank going in, I'm just saying. Jeff? All right, I'm at uh, uh, you. <laughs> I love the lines. Shepard, this way, please. Got it. And Garrus, go with Shepard. Moving forward. Garrus! Garrus! <laughs> I love Garrus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. All right, so we got 66% chance to do potentially five damage on this guy with a 40% chance to crit. That's not bad. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. We've been spotted. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, that turned out great. That was that was good. Yeah. There's a couple of possibilities we can do here, though. Despite this. Um... Sure. Garrus, get in here. I don't like doing this, but... We're gonna have to. Uh, Liara, I need you to come up here. Much as I don't like wanting to not have you in cover. You do have shields, which is kind of your advantage in this case. And what can we do here?
Can't really do anything with Joker there. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. Well, I could do this, get a frag out situation. Hit the, um, hit the trooper. That's at least that guy taken care of. And then... Oh, crap. Let's go. That is not great odds. Ah. Okay, he, he pulled back at least. Uh, Jeff can still see him, which is nice. Uh, let's try the shot. Holy hell! He got him! Okay, well, that's, that's one way to do it. Now, which way do we go through? Um... We're closer to this side over here. This side is already open. Okay, let's move. Moving. Holding here. All right, we're gonna move Liara to here. Loud and clear. Okay. Four turns until it's destroyed. Oh man. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? Garris, go forward. Maybe it's better not to know the details. Aha. Menace one five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Okay. Let's check options here. Garrus, you do need a kill. Same with Shepard, really. Let's go. Shepard's gonna be out in the open here. Come on, Shepard. There we go. Okay, um, idea here. Can we hit this, Liara? Yes, we can. And then, we're just gonna go for the for sure at this point. It works. It definitely works. Alright, let's reset here a little bit. Three turns till detonation. You bet. Let's take these monsters. I'm on Shepard's gonna move in here. Okay. Yeah, Shepard's gonna go in and get it. Let's move. Same idea. Okay, we hear him. You're fine, Garrus. Hack chest. This is a guaranteed hack, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Okay, there we go. 
I'll this take is coming handy. Menace one five, status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Yeah. I hope you're right. Got it, finding a position. Still think you can win Not this, that, huh? An actual honest to god dead cow. Alrighty. Come on. Don't make me blow a hole in this thing. Might need to swing around here. Understood. Which right. I think we will. Um, not exactly a great place for Liar to go, except for maybe over here. But then again, she does have shields, so I, what, what am I worrying about? On it. I, I never really considered it, Commander. I'm ready, no Commander. Okay. You've got to be close. Now, now watch, they're gonna go that way. <laughs> Which will be just my luck. Yikes! All right, Shepard's gonna go to here. Sure. Nobody gets past us. Clear? We'll do. Come on. It's Anybody yet? Tank. No. Okay. Hurry. Hurry. All right, Jeff's gonna go to here, and I think we're gonna kind of keep him here for the moment. What was that? I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Come on, pick your heads out. You know you want to. There you are. There you are. Okay. Can't exactly get up there with anybody at the moment, and I don't have a grenade to exactly get things down, which is gonna make things great. Uh, so let's go for this. Woo! That was good. Alright. What's his uh, pistol shot look like? Not much better. Alright. Sniper rifle time. Let's go. Oh, miss. Wait, did he have a nade on him? Nah, I don't think he did. Alright. Shepard, let's go. Get him. Oh, bad. You have got to be kidding me. I'm gonna go on the trooper over here, though. Because the chances of the sectoid firing as opposed to, like, doing his psionic stuff is... Like, he's probably more likely to do the psionic stuff at the moment. Nicely done, Garrus. Got the bastard. Oh! Well, I was wrong. Yeah, heal thyself. Get him. There we go. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Alright, not quite a flawless mission, but hey, pretty friggin' close. Randomize. That was cool. Maybe remove remove the poster aspect. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Take photo. After the war's over, maybe you can start your modeling career. Probably. All right. Let's head back to base. Heading back to base. All righty. Good stuff. Destruction left in their wake. XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. 
They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Okay. And we'll have some promotions in it as well, which is awesome. What did I do for Shepard as far as a class? Was it the Ranger? I think it was the Ranger. Yeah, Shepard's obviously going to be in sick bay. Please, when the troops return oh, to God. casualties, I can't hope for a better outcome. But hey, most cohesion, Shepard and um and Garrus, I like that. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Alrighty. <laughs> yes, yeah, Shepard's gonna be out for a while. I'm sorry, buddy. I was thinking, oh yeah, let's uh, let's do that. But yeah, Shep yeah, I like the fact that Shepard and Garrus have have cohesion there, and Garrus is sharpshooter. Very nice, very nice. Ah, here we go. Council time. civilians from across the world their numbers are growing we suspect they have been taken to a nearby advent black site though its exact location remains unknown time is short commander we need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. All right. Here we go. Moss Def. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Considering the limited resources of oh, this is cool. You, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. So obviously a little weird with the hair and the skin and everything, but the scientist we got is got a Prothean skin on there, which is pretty cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and clear up more debris. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's go ahead and get. Oh, I can't get the Guerrilla Tactics School up and running yet. Arr. That's kind of frustrating. Um, let's go in here though. Oh yeah, can't recruit anybody yet. But can I view soldiers? <laughs> yeah, soldier bonds. Let's go ahead and bond these two. Each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond. I mean, hell yes. Let's bond, let's bond Shepard and Garrus. I like this. Yes! The media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advance propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits <laughs> in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. Hell yes! Oh god. <laughs> What, what is going on here? <laughs> um, yeah, Shepard's all tied up in a viper, and Garrus is just like, what? 
not even helping him. You know what? Let's 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 customize our own poster here. So first off, let's do background options. Um, a rising star. Uh, let's do not hide poster, but let's remove. Let's remove the two combined missions. Have you heard about these people running around out in the woods calling themselves Reapers? Hell, maybe you've met one. If you have, then you've probably heard about their unique dietary regimen. And if you haven't heard, let me give you a tip. Don't ask where the meat came from. Okay, so I do like... I like Deadly Duo, and let's do that. Garrus is going to do You know, actually I do like how it's both of them doing Deadly Duo. I might switch Ooh. Yeah, I like that. All right, background, because this is a little ridiculous. Ooh, I like Distant Earth. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Dude, yeah. I like that. Though I have to say, um, can we edit their weapons? <sighs> yes, leave, leave photo booth right now. They are bonded at least. Uh, weapon upgrades. No, I don't want weapon upgrades, I want loadout. Give me that, give me that assault rifle. And yes, Omniblade. Omniblade. I've warned the crew to stay away from the Advent meat rations. We still don't know what they're putting in that stuff. Ooh, and do I give him a Valiant? Do I give him a Viper? He did, Garrus did favor the Viper, it seemed, more than a lot of other things. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the Eagle, I think, the N7 Eagle. For a sidearm, I do like that setup. Now, can I take and do a photo photo booth here? Duo. Edit soldiers. We're gonna do this. I, I like this uh, this setup. Deadly duo. I, I like that. I like that setup. All right, so we got those two. Layout was, oh, this is the text layout. Uh, I like that. I'm sp I love how I'm spending like a five extra minutes, but I figure you all, del you all deserve this, you know? Background options. We had earth something something. Yeah, distant earth. Then we had dark blue. Second background was white. Oh, I love that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. About there-ish. Yeah, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. I really do. It's really cool. Oh man, take photo. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Oh, bonus action for uh, for hair trick. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. 
That is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentle peeps. Thank you all for watching for this very first episode of Mass Effect XCOM 2, or XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Mass Effect series. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Feel free, of course, as always, to Hulk smash that like button. Come in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, may the Force be ever in your favor.